Demolition work in lots full of rubble, the construction sites for the Bogota Metro. Initial plans for the public transport system came out 80 years ago. Now the first line is being built, a dream come true for many Bogotanos. From the moment a Bogotano is born, the subway is always being talked about at home. You know, everyone had long lost confidence in the subway ever being built. Everyone's been saying, when will Bogota have a metro? The first attempts failed due to lack of funds. Another attempt was promised to be ready by 2020, but nothing happened. Now the system is finally under construction with many modifications. One of them, it will no longer run underground. When will it be ready? I'd say if you take an eight-year-old girl, when she's 15 years old, she will be able to ride the subway, at least the first line. And by the time she's 20, she will be able to ride lines two and three. According to current estimates, Bogota will pay around $5 billion to China's harbor engineering company, which will build and operate the system. The company is controversial. It's been engrossed in corruption scandals in other countries and was sanctioned for delays in other projects. They declined to provide a response to DW. One of the main factors in recent construction delays, political pressures, say experts. It is important to get serious and put aside political points and instead take sincere responsibility to advance what has already been achieved. Otherwise, we are moving two steps forward and five steps back, and then it'll be impossible for the city to solve its congestion problems. Bogotanos hope the metro can solve mobility problems and alleviate the overload experienced by the bus network, but the metro is only part of the solution. According to our data, 13 and a half million trips are made every day in Bogota. By the year 2030, the subway, according to official estimates, would be moving more or less 850,000 people a day. And that is a mere 6 to 7 percent of traffic. After waiting for the metro for more than 80 years, it's possible that the most expensive piece of infrastructure in Bogota's history will not be enough to bring relief to this traffic-choked city.